Howdy! Come on in here, find you a seat. I'll rustle you up a cup of coffee, glass of wine, whichever one you'd like. Or as my dad used to say, you can have whichever one you'd rather prefer. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me so much, but it does. But he said it a lot. Uh, yeah, rather than just saying, you know, whichever one you prefer or whichever one you want, whichever one you like. Whichever one you had rather prefer. <laughs> That was fun. To me, it was anyway. I wish he was around here to say whichever one you rather prefer to us. Well, today, what we got on our mind is leaving you a recipe for the best pot of chili you ever put in your mouth. And uh, before we even get started, I want to go ahead and address these uh, Texas boys. We don't want to hear about how well, that ain't chili. Chili ain't got beans in it. Well, maybe Texas chili ain't got beans in it. There's lots of things Texas ain't got. And beans in their chili can be one of them. But let me tell you something. We're not trying to take chili away from you. You know, we'll concede that y'all invented chili. Uh... We ain't saying that we invented chili. We just saying we made it better. <laughs> anyway, not only we got beans in our chili, we're going to have three beans in this chili. As, as best as I can remember, and I've spent a lot of time from Michigan all the way down to Florida. Now, I know here in the southeast, we have beans in our chili, but I, I'm pretty sure that folks there in Michigan did too. Uh, Arkansas, Tennessee, Illinois, Indiana. I've spent time in all them states. And I don't remember ever having anybody try to pass something off as chili without beans in it. Now, we make that stuff like y'all make. We leave the uh, cumin and the chili powder out of it. And we pour that over spaghetti noodles. We call that spaghetti. It's pretty good. And uh, then we make it just like y'all do. And we put that on hot dogs and call that hot dog sauce. That's pretty good, too. Now, we got some Yankee folks there in Ohio. I know they take and uh, make it similar to y'all. But they add a little nutmeg. I think a couple of things to it. And they put it on skating noodles just like that. And they call it Cincinnati chili. And it's pretty good. I've tried it. But anyway, uh, don't get mad at us. I don't know why y'all get so upset about people putting beans in their chili. You know, what? We, we want beans in our chili. It's good. And also, poor folks need a cheap filler in there to feed all them youngins. So leave them alone. We want beans in our chili. Y'all make it the way you want to, we'll make it the way we want to. You don't even get upset about it. Well, heck. Y'all invented Mary Kay makeup, too. You don't seem to be getting mad at us because we all don't wear Mary Kay makeup and drive pink Cadillacs and wear dresses. You know, that's uh, that's another story there. But uh, although I do believe the other day, I'm pretty sure there was a pink Cadillac I saw come rolling right down through the middle of town. Had three fellas in it. And all three of them was wearing Mary Kay makeup, if I ain't mistaken. Of course, it had them New York license plates on it. That kind of explains that, don't it? <laughs> I hope that didn't offend anybody. No, now I'm lying. I, I don't give a crap if it did offend you. <laughs> if you get offended by me talking about your dress or your pink Cadillac, you're probably going to get offended here at the Bears Den a whole lot. Not because I don't like it. I don't care. Because it's a good, fun subject to poke at. Uh, it don't make me hate you because you want to wear a dress and you're a man. I'm sorry that it makes you hate us how we feel about it. You know, how we feel about our business. Uh, I know one thing for sure. 
if you get to cotton picking mad about what everybody thinks about you wearing a dress, you ought not be wearing it. I can tell you that for sure. You know, because you're causing your own problem then. If you want to wear a dress, just wear your dress. I don't care. I ain't going to be mad at you. I ain't going to try to get you not to wear it. I don't care. Wear your dress. Now, if you come crawling out of that Cadillac with a... It don't matter if you got a pretty flyer to dress on and makeup. If you got Adam's apple as big as uh, my nose and your voice is as deep as that there fella singing with the Statler Brothers, I'm going to call you sir. Because that's what you are. That dress didn't turn you into a woman or anything else. You're still a man. You're just a man in a dress. And again, that is okay if you want to wear a dress. Actually, looks like it might be pretty comfortable. That ain't going to make me want to wear one. But anyway, put them on, wear them, but be happy doing it. Don't be mad about what other people think. You know, even if you see somebody laughing at your dress, you shouldn't get mad about it. They think it's funny. i tell you how you can be a whole lot happier. Be a whole lot happier if you quit being concerned with what people think and trying to change people. You know, you're not going to change us. And uh, you say ma'am or sir to one of you, and you get offended. Well, it's disrespectful to say ma'am and sir to people. No, it's not. It's just the other way around. They're saying it to you because uh, out of respect. Whether you're wearing your dress or not, if they say ma'am or sir to you, they're showing respect. You know, y'all are the ones that are trying to change people. You know, you say you just want to be left alone and want, want to be able to do what you want to do. Well, that's what we want. And I'll leave you alone. You know, and I respect you for wearing whatever you want to wear. Wear it. I don't care. But I'm not going to change my whole culture because you want to wear a damn dress. You know, we grew up saying, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Actually, if you didn't put a ma'am before or after whatever you said to a lady, that was a good way to get one of your teeth loosened up by your mom or daddy, either one. Because that was respect. It was done out of respect. So when you, you walk up on somebody, you hold the door for them and say, thank you, ma'am. Even if they get it wrong and you're not a ma'am, it's still, it's a sign of respect. It's why they're saying it to you. So don't be offended. Appreciate the respect. Instead, you got to get all bent out of shape about it. And i tell you how you can feel better. When you get up in the morning, crawl out of that basement and play any video game all night there at Mama's house. Uh, when you sneak back there and you dabble in her makeup on a little bit before you go out to wherever it is you go, ease on over to Grandma's room and look in that bureau and find you a pair of what they call big girl bloomers. You slip you a pair of them big girl bloomers on, right over them hairy legs under that dress, and uh, you'll be tougher all day long. It won't bother you. Things won't get on your nerves so bad. You won't get teed off at everything everybody says about you. You'll go right on and take care of your own business. I guarantee you they're in there too. Every grandma has got a pair of big girl bloomers somewhere or another. So, that's enough about that. We'll move on now and talk about this chili we're going to make. This chili has got beans. And when I say beans, I'm not talking about canned beans. I'm talking about we making it with dry beans. About a half cup of dry beans equals a can. If that helps you out on your recipes. But anyway, or 15 ounce can, you know, it's about a half cup of beans. I like to throw them dried beans. The best way to cook them is throw them in the Instant Pot. With a couple of quarts of water and cook them for about 14, 15 minutes. They ain't got to be cooked to a mush because they're going to cook for a while simmering in that chili after you put them in there. But just cook them in the Instant Pot for about 14, 15 minutes. Drain them good. Put the beans in there and your chili with everything else when you get everything in there. 
simmer it for about an hour just as low as you can get the stove to go and still keep a bubble going in your chili. Stir it about every 10 or 15 minutes. Keep a lid on it for an hour. When it gets through, ooh, it's going to be good. And let me tell you something. This recipe has got a little bit of sugar in it. It's not to make the chili sweet, and it ain't going to make the chili sweet. What it's going to do is calm the acidity. Anytime you use that much tomato product in anything, it's going to be uh, a little too strong on the acid side. And what that does, that hides all your flavors. It hides even the flavors of the good tomatoes themselves. Hides all your pepper flavors, everything. But if you'll calm that acidity down a little bit, you'll taste all three of them beans, all three of them peppers. Everything in there, you'll have a, a flavor that you'll taste from each thing. So don't be scared to put that little bit of sugar in there. You're not going to put enough in there that it starts tasting sweet. That's too much. But give it a try. You'll like it.